I am angry. I am in pain. My heart is heavy. Oh, my beloved Nigeria. After so many years of pain, hardship, and poverty, God finally smiled on us and gave us an angel who will savage our motherland and take us to the great land where we can finally be the true giants of Africa. Yes, that is why we all traveled miles away to get our PVC, our rights as citizens of Nigeria. We got this because we believe that a new Nigeria is possible. Yes, we believed. I believed that a new Nigeria is possible. So we all came out in mass, in togetherness, as we march to our pulling unit to vote for our choice. Yes, we voted. I voted. I voted for a true leader. Peter Obi, the people's choice. A man that can understand the pain of an ordinary man. <laughs> A man of peace, a man of truth, and a man of justice. That is the man I voted for. But what did we get in return? Our hearts were crushed. Our hopes were shattered in our faces. Our hearts were left broken. Rigging became the order of the day. <laughs> of what use is this BBC when our rights as citizens is taken away from us by force? Of what use are you to me? <laughs> Where is the hope for the youth when our great grandfathers are out there craving for power? Where does that leave our youth? Where? <laughs> My Nigeria is gone. Anyway, I have taken my own decision. I will burn you because you are of no use to me. You are useless. I will burn you. And you think burning that PVC is the solution to the problem? Who are you? And how did you know I'm here? You are hungry. You are bitter because you think you have been disenfranchised. Yes, I have. Now, take a look at this. They told us that with this, we can vote a president of our choice. They told us that with this PVC, our vote will count. They also told us that with this, we can have a new Nigeria. But that is not what is happening. My sister, did you see the signal you were able to pass on that day of the election? With this your PVC? With this your PVC, you were able to send all those old politicians that, that claim God for that reason out of the House of Assembly. See, listen. If your vote does not matter, nobody will rig it. It's a strategy to demoralize you. Okay, have you ever heard in the history of Nigeria that Okada man can make it in the House of Assembly? A man that is being rigged has the opportunity of coming back if the law has his way. But a man who is defeated has no such opportunity. Don't forget, the Bible makes us to understand in Job 2015, it said, 
He has swallowed that riches. They have swallowed down your franchise. They have swallowed down your votes. He said, but they shall vomit it. He said, the Almighty God will cast it out of their belly. I never saw it from this angle. So you mean my vote can actually count? Yes. That is what I'm saying. Don't let them demoralize you. My sister, the governorship election is around the corner. Please, your PVC is your power. And I, I, I must point this. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Hello, fellow Nigerians out there. Do not allow them to demoralize you. They know your vote is powerful. That is why they are trying to demoralize you. They know if you are demoralized, you won't come out to vote. And they will have their way easily. Let them rig. If they want to rig, let them rig. But let everyone know that we defeated them, that we didn't vote for them. Please, this governorship election, come out and let's send another signal. Thank you. God bless you.